welcome to this video tutorial with me Wayne from Dr Clean UK. Well this tutorial is going to give you five tips that are going to improve your ironing. Effectively it's five rules to live by when you're ironing and these are going to be phenomenal if you follow them. They're going to save you time, they're going to increase the quality of your ironing. I guarantee it. So here's rule number one. Have you ever wondered why the iron is the shape it is? Yeah? Shaped very much like a ship. And if you look at a ship going through water, its pointy end drives the water out the way and allows the ship to pass through the water much easier. If you look at a barge, which is wide at the front, it passes through the water a lot slower. So what the front does is it moves fabric out the way as you're going forward. Now, I've seen a lot of people do what I call is the ironing wiggle. Side to side, there you go, side to side. Doesn't do anything for the fabric, doesn't do anything for your ironing. And all it does is slow you down and takes time. It doesn't increase your quality at all. So we want to see forward and backwards movements wherever possible. Now, it is possible to go forward and then come backwards on a side, but you're doing that for a specific reason. You've decided to. Initially, just think forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, and you really cannot go wrong. So here's rule number two. This is a key rule that a lot of people miss out. You need to use your hands as if they are an iron going over the fabric. Because your hands are fairly sensitive and they become more and more sensitive over time. And you can actually feel little lumps and bumps underneath that you do not want to iron into your fabric. If you iron a crease into your fabric, it's much more difficult to get it out than not ironing that crease in at all. So you need to use your hands as pretend irons, sensitising them to the feel of the fabric, what's underneath and what's on top. Right, now here's rule number three, and I don't know if this is probably the most important rule you could ever know. Do not iron your fabric if you can feel a crease underneath. Only put your iron on the fabric when you're convinced it's okay to do so. And the only way you can do that is following rule number two. But I have here a pillowcase, and here I've got lots of little creases. Now I can see that the creases are actually inside, but all I have to do is fix that. before I start to iron and I'll have no problems. If I don't fix it before I start to iron, I can be in serious trouble because I'm going to get those creases not only in the main fabric, but if it's a sensitive fabric, I could shine the fabric on the bottom side. If you iron on a crease, that can be real problems if you've got a wool or a silk or a silk type fabric that shines easily. You might never get that shine out and you might ruin your garment. So rule number three is a key one. Never put your iron on a fabric until you're convinced that there are no creases underneath. And you can do that by using rule two, your hands as an iron. All right, here's rule number four. Don't be a static ironer. Don't stand in one place and move your body so that your iron goes to the end of the board. If you actually have to put something round the end of the board, I'll put this round the end of the board, and iron it there, then move there. So A, you can see it, and B, your iron can work really well and easily and in balance. You want to let the iron do the work, not for you to do the work. Moving round the board, is part of that. So keep moving, keep mobile, and you'll make your ironing a lot easier and a lot better. Okay, we're now onto the fifth rule. The fifth rule of ironing. If you can pull things towards you, don't push them away. And the reason for that, it's much more easy to control something coming towards you. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm feeling the fabric. I know it's flat. I iron it. And now I want to move it forward. Well, I know from the end of the iron, which I've just taken it from, that that is one movement forward. And all I've done is actually pulled it so that I know all of this hasn't been done and all that's off the end of the board has been done. Iron the next bit. That's done. Fingers on the end, pull it towards you. 
really quickly, I'm in place and I can do the next bit so long as I make sure everything's flat. So, rule number five, a key rule. Pull things toward you, it's much easier than throwing things away from you. You keep it in control and it actually goes much, much faster. Okay, so there we have it. Five simple rules of ironing. Let's just run over those again. One, the iron's that shape for a reason. Push it into that shape and you'll actually have much smoother ironing and much easier ironing. Don't do the ironer's wobble. Number two, use your hands as pretend irons so you can feel what's on the fabric, how the fabric's laying and what's underneath the fabric. Rule number three, don't put an iron on a piece of fabric until you're absolutely certain the underneath and any layering is absolutely flat. If you put a crease in a piece of fabric, you will find it much more difficult to get that crease out. And worst case scenario, you could actually damage that fabric forever. Rule number four, move your body around the board so that you make your ironing easier and you can control it so much better. Don't stretch. You might do your back in, you want to keep your back as straight as possible and your body over the ironing area wherever you can. Finally, rule number five. It's far easier to pull something towards you, even a shirt, round the board than it is to push something away. You have a lot more control. That control means you get it in place much quicker. Once you've got it in place much quicker, you can start ironing. And once you can start ironing quicker, the whole thing takes half the time that it would otherwise. Okay, so there's the five basics of ironing for you. Start using those today, and you will start getting improved quality in less time. Thanks very much. Hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. <laughs>